I don't care if it's August, December, or June, for my heart sings a wonderful tune as long as you can. It's wonderful being with all of you again. Today, I would like to pay tribute to some of the great ladies in theatrical history in bringing you some music that might never have been known to this world had it not been for their great influence in bringing it to the attention of the public. First of all, I would like to do some songs that were very popular during the era of Lillian Russell, who helped make them so very famous. Gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment to tell you about a very famous lady and her influence on a certain classical composer and his music. But first, here's a word from our sponsors. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you a very interesting story how a certain lady named George Sand helped to introduce the composer Chopin to the world. It was at the Parisian home of George Sand, and the musical society of the world was gathered. Among them, the eminent concert pianist Franz Liszt, who had agreed to play. But first he made a strange request that all the lights be extinguished. When this was done, beautiful music filled the room, and everyone present proclaimed his genius. Just then, George Sand entered the room carrying a candelabra, which lighted not the face of Franz Liszt, but the face of the youthful and then unknown Frederick Chopin. 
And for the first time, this beautiful music was revealed to the world. Back in 1939 in Omaha, Nebraska, I had the unforgettable experience of being on the same bill with the great singing star, the late Helen Morgan. Although it's a long time ago, I'll always remember her wonderful performances, the way she would sit on the piano in a darkened nightclub room with a tiny little spotlight shining in her face. And somehow you had the feeling that it wasn't just a song she was singing. No, I always thought she was revealing the innermost secrets of her heart. Go. 
got a man crazy for me. He's funny. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to pay tribute to a great star of the theater who did so much to popularize the music of the Latin American countries. Her name was Carmen Miranda. Here is a number she introduced. It is dedicated to her native land, Brazil. I'd like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, about a very famous woman musician of the 19th century. Her name was Clara Wieck, and she was a famous concert pianist. Early in her fabulous career, she fell in love with an unknown and very poor composer named Robert Schumann. She made his music known to the world in her concerts everywhere. She played his compositions. Later, she became his wife and served as an inspiration to her gifted husband. Although desperately poor in worldly goods, Robert Schumann brought to his wife a rich dowry in music, and on their wedding night, his gift to her professed his love in a composition that he called Dedication. my life, 
my yearning, a heavenly flame so brightly burning. You are my grave wherein I cast my every sorrow of the past. from heaven, a gift descending. For in your love I seem renewed, your very gaze transforms my mood. Your selfless love lifts up my soul, my better self, my inner goal. You are my heart. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful surprise for you. Two of the great ladies of the theater are with us today. So let's reminisce with the famous Duncan sisters. numbers we've introduced, and also the many musical comedies we've played in. She's a good fellow, tip-top, and it's a great life. That was 1928. 29. Do I hear 30? <laughs> <laughs> and the most famous of all, Topsy and Eva. And for those of you who would like to reminisce with us, we'd like to remind you that Topsy and Eva was first produced July 9th, 1923, in San Francisco at the Alcatraz Theater. Alcazar. At the Alcazar Theater. <laughs> and for those of you who can't go back quite that far, we'd like to tell you that out of the pages of Harriet Beecher Stowe's classic Uncle Tom's Cabin, my sister and I brought two lovable little characters to life. Little Eva with the long golden curl. That was me. And that wicked little imp, Topsy. That was me. Boogie boogie. <laughs> Why? Why did you try to be good? Why, do try. 
No, you don't. Crack my knuckles, I do try. But the better I get, the worse I is. <laughs> oh, Topsy, you don't try to be good. Yes, ma'am, I do. And if you're not good, nobody will ever love you. No. Don't you want everybody to love you? No, because I don't love nobody. You don't love anybody? Just hate everybody in the world, I do. You do? Just hate everybody in the world and only wish there was more people so I could hate them, too. <laughs> reminiscing with you, Vivian, and Rosetta Duncan. It's oh. great to be here with you, Lee. I'll you. say it is. And I just love your song. Tell me, when did you write that song? Well, I wrote it when I was 16 and in love. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in love, but I helped with the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wonderful song, and I understand that you did that song in famous music halls throughout the world. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we even sang it in Milwaukee. My hometown. <laughs> the Davidson Theater. The Davidson. That's right. You know, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if my father played in the orchestra in the pit while you sang that on the stage. I bet he did. I bet he did, too. <laughs> Listen, girls, I have to go back and say so long to all the folks because it's nearly that time. But I would like you to stay around so I can come back and talk over all days with you. OK? okay. Thank Wonderful. I'll see you. Right away. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been wonderful being with all of you again, and I'd like to thank you for your wonderful response. And I'd like to share it with our special guests, Miss Sandy Ellis, for her inspiring vocal tribute to the late Helen Morgan. And of course, those two wonderful and fabulous ladies of the theater, Vivian and Rosetta Duncan. So until we meet again, this is Liberace in Hollywood on behalf of everyone in our show is saying, Thanks a million, and God bless you all. I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing.